What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Knights of St. John. So because of a massive screw-up that I've done, um, I lost Madrid when I should have kept it. So I had to fight, waste a load of turns, attacking it again. Now the Brits this time have decided to send the army that was near Malta actually to Madrid. So we're going to defend it, but I have a breach. So we should be okay because they should, I'm saying that word should a lot, go for the breach. And we've got foot artillery, so we can make a nice little kill zone with canister shot. Where did my breach go? Well, that's not good. Is it? So I'm probably going to put... Right, okay, let's figure this out. How can I figure it out? Um, at the very least, we get plug bayonets, so we can fight them off. Do I want to deploy my artillery out for counter-battery? Probably. There's maybe some of them. So if I deployed something like this, I'd get some cover from my own artillery. Granted, I'm putting myself at risk being out there. But I can do something like this. I suppose I can do this just for, just for lots of cover. So if, I, if cavalry straight lines it towards my guns, I've, they'll all die. Same strategy as before, mortars out front. I'm not massively concerned, because if they don't get a breach, they don't they can't get in. They've got lots of cavalry and junk, so. That itself isn't a massive problem. Some marines up on the wall, just to get ready to engage them. Keep one set of guns inside in case they make a breach. Got a regiment of horse. Your set back in cover. Let's take a gamble. Oh, your garrison line, so you can't help. Okay. What? Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, cavalry. It was nice to know you. Let's relocate a load of my troops. Sadly, I'm going to lose my mortars for cheap as well. So they are attacking this section of the wall here. Well, actually, we, we did get some. We did manage to exact a toll. Artillery within range? No, it's not of range in range of them. Lots of realignment. My guns, you may as well. You can't rout. Militia and marines coming around the flank, which is not great. Okay, so they've got 50% of that section of the wall. Oh, 
these guys want to advance up the wall, at least we'll get some some shots at them with my infantry down here. remember the breach, although to be honest let's preempt that a bit and put my marines down here. And some some this put this infantry down here as well. So this is okay, so we're gonna get some shots off at them for free while they climb the wall. You guys may as well equip bayonets. Let's run, you guys, because their wall will collapse probably now. Where's that limber? There it goes. Cavalry into the guys at the base of the wall. It'll preferably be the Marines, but. I don't want to make my guys unusable as shooting infantry, but I can't really afford to let them get free hits. charge these guys in because may as well building a lost gatehouse why have we lost this gatehouse nope you don't shoot is we can at least attack them from both flanks. Can you guys fire at will? Hopefully get some good kills on this militia. There we go. They are starting to to be unhappy with their lot. Infantry. Get the line infantry side, get the marines inside, the regiment of horse chase down this unit of marines. So let's just Okay now these guys can fire at will. Let's speed up the time. Cavalry, kill these marines. So we'll have to contend with these guys being a problem. The remnants of these Brits being a problem for a while. But I think it's probably going to be okay. It's certainly going to be less of a problem than the effect of losing losing uh, Madrid. I'll tell you that. So what are they shooting at now? Let's get the guys off the walls completely. 
that is just an absolute artillery trap. And then this little Maharat says, just do work, I suppose. Although, really, I'll do this. No, they can't actually... Okay, dokie guys, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut the recording here because it looks like the AI does not want to do... They don't want to attack. And to be honest, if they don't want to attack, I'm okay with that because they've got lots of pikes and lots of cavalry and they would swarm me in here because I don't have any proper defences. So what do I do? I'm going to cut the recording here to bring you guys back when, when the battle's over. This could be a long time for me. See you in a sec, guys. And we're back, guys. I managed to lure some of the cavalry in to attack us, but I've spent most of the time plinking at this pike unit. So they've lost about 100 guys for free victory. End battle. Heroic victory. So we do have, we do now have a British army running around, um, causing problems for us. But as you can see, they've been significantly neutered. But ultimately, oh, oh no. Oh, thank Christ for that. <laughs> it's bought us time. That's all it's done. Here come the Spanish again. But yeah. The main need is to hold down the capital. Keep that going. And we should, you know, do what we did before. Keep the city happy. And we'll be okay. We'll have to expand much slower and have to extend a few armies out to go and kill raiding units. But we've still got... I'm still... This is... This is okay. It would have been better if I hadn't screwed up um, attacking the, the rebel army outside. And it would have been better if I left some troops back to guard the capital. But, even so, I think even if I left... <gasps> oh, damn it, Barbary States. I thought they'd... I thought they'd covered me. I'm waiting for the random turn that usually shows up with the Barbary States ask for peace. We're not bankrupt, we're slightly ahead. Can't exempt them from tax because we have no money. The low classes policy is already right the way down. I can't re repair anything this turn. Um, workers are on strike. Next turn they'll rebel break something. I didn't pick anything to research. Yep, yeah, Britain's going to raid their way around as is Spain. Um, but the main objective is to get public order in Seville back under control. And we know that every turn it will get better. So next turn they'll riot and break something. Hopefully something that's already been raided. And then we will have some cash to hopefully rebuild the theatre and then we can slowly incrementally start to send guys back out again and hopefully what the Italian states have just done is earn me a bit of boost in a bit of a boost in cash to, to, uh, to kind of solve the problem from both directions a regrow my um, army and also keep my buildings you know rebuilt keep on my buildings keep my buildings repaired so 900 is enough to repair the grand opera house it's minus eight now weirdly no it's because they've raided the bawdy house that's not cool but we can begin to selectively reinforce my troops because they will rebel again um we just can't 
I can't stop that. I'm tempted to get rid of one of my demi cannons to help solve the income problem. Let's combine the cavalry to help save it, save a little bit more. I am loath to combine too many more troops. I mean, you're still researching. You're researching carbines, which isn't great. I'd rather have bayonets, but can't really afford to be picky at the minute. So let's try and. Come on, Spain. Come on, France. Just, 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 just chill out. So I wonder what you're going to do. Thankfully they've left. So while that means this guy is going to raid around Spain and slowly chip away at my income. The main problem isn't income, it's happiness. It's the main problem. Thankfully rebuilding the um, government building will help as we'll slowly start as we're slowly um replenishing my army to help get the garrison re garrison repression up italian states are being pro they help keeping me safe well technically they're helping keep me safe in the grand scheme i'm not actually having much of an effect because as soon as they um free my port the barbary states just blockade it again Particularly from ships from Algiers. He raid in Granada. There's the Spanish rebels. So I think I have to try and rebuild the U. Let's replenish my marines. This unit of infantry. Can't afford that marine unit. Let's replenish this dockyard unit to help keep cash up. We don't need to drop too low. I would love to sally out and attack them, but I can't. Let's get my agent over to Paris just to keep an eye on what's going on. Hello, he got blocked. So there's not anything important. Come on, France. This is just random, hoping they'll do something. Thought they'd take it for a second. Brain, for some reason freeing up my port and then blockading it themselves which is obviously much more of a problem so we've now lost two happiness from religious happiness you can see how this starts to uh, cascade thankfully the Moroccans have pushed the Spanish back so I want to rebuild um, the Bordy House to the northeast to help get our happiness back because right now we are in a bit of a deficit it's, it's unfortunate that uh, Britain's blockading our port now because now we know we won't get any respite from their attacks so unfortunately I can't move my capital like you can in Rome because I would <laughs> I would immediately at the drop of a hat Ooh, they're actually attacking us, eh? That's really quite bad. Because our army is pitifully weak. Well, let's do it. So. I hope we've still got the breach. If we do, this becomes a lot, a much easier problem to solve. If we don't, we need to make one. Pretty ricky tick. Okay, so we need to make one. Okay, keep everyone, get everyone back.
for me to get more firepower on the walls than anything. Regiment of horse maybe over here. Awesome. Fight what fight what is off. Not yet. Okay, so Do we even want these here? Because these get in the way. Let's put you in there, fire them off. This weak unit up here just to stop them from getting a free reign. To be honest, I might even run you guys off of this section completely. My intention is to blow a hole in it. So speed up time, just to make sure... I want to see this hole show up as quickly as possible. much um, damage done per turn as I would like. Unfortunately though, we are... I mean, I am speeding up mainly because I'm really nervous. No, don't push. You put on your plug bayonets and attack this line infantry unit. No, my plan. Crafted plan is being undone. Not that it's particularly crafty, but... Come on, abandon hope of taking the walls. Cavalry around here. Try hit them in the rear. Fortunately, these are marines. I could charge in, but I don't think I want to. I want them to commit. Silly. You guys get back to firing at will. Let's run my cavalry out. Yeah, I'm pretty much I'm speeding up because I'm nervous. Irish Brigade, or as much of it as you can, then run away before being attacked. Then you come over here, run around this unit of mercenaries, go take out their Sakers, charge the Bandoleros actually on the way. But hit their Sakers first. There we go. Run away. Managed to beat them on the 
on this assault up here at great cost. But I'm hoping that now we have this here handy dandy breach, they will decide their best route is through it. Let's hold fire. Charge this unit of Swiss line with my cavalry. Because now we've got a bit of freedom to chew up these infantry to make sure we do as much damage as possible to these damn pirates. Run, 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 run. Hit the Regimento de Sevilla. Let's just abandon, abandon the shenanigans from outside. I've halted the cannon fire, run them back inside. These guys just run. Okay, they're now ready. Engage that Western European mercenary unit, boys. These marines can chase out this infantry unit. Let's get the cavalry back out there. Chase them down, because now they've got complete freedom to manoeuvre. My marines will ev eviscerate this unit of line infantry, so... Oh, fire at will on, sorry. Silly me. Damn right it was decisive. God, that really had me concerned there. <sighs> sorry, I sped that one up, guys. Like I said, I was nervous. I was really nervous. Now down to minus four. The boarding house is repaired. Some religious unhappiness of these guys, sure. I think the best place to spend our money now is to keep our armies topped up. Because this army is not beyond, it's not beneath coming back and it's sieging us. This is a Spanish army that retreated, so I'm not directly worried about them. Obviously our port's blockaded by the Brits. They've got fourth raids now. <laughs> okay, so I spent money on replenishing my armies, because the rebels will be drawn to me like iron filings. Oh wow, the Brits are actually fighting the Spanish. Please go and attack Gibraltar. No, don't break my happiness buildings. That makes people happy. So my main... I've got to keep defending Madrid till the, at the very least resistance to foreign occupation keeps going down. I didn't like the glimpse of that stack I saw from the Mughal Empire either. But yeah, I need to keep defending the city. If, Even if all my other buildings are broken, like all my other happiness buildings and stuff are damaged, I can still get population under get the population under control by holding the city. There you go, they're currently neutral. Completely neutral. Now, and that's after some of these units have been destroyed so now everything's going to be gravy so let's build rebuild the cheap ones to rebuild let's replenish you replenish you Keep replenishing, my god. Slight amount of growth. Slight amount of tax growth, but not a huge amount. But this is the kind of thing we need to do to get the territory 
back under control. The Royal Navy is becoming incredibly strong. Oh no! Of course, here come the French. This is very much becoming whack-a-mole. Like I said, every turn I hold on to the, every turn I hold on to Spain. Right now, I think I'm hovering at about minus twenty penalty because of the foreign occupation. But every turn I hold it, that goes down, so I can afford to lose everything. Or have everything be broken. Um, but what I can't afford to do is lose the city. That's the one thing I cannot, under any circumstances, handle. Thank God they didn't attack me, because... You have you guys... This is a very small army to hold the city with. Especially when we've got 600 quid. Can't recruit anything because my garrison's barracks is broken. So let's try fix you and replenish a... Foot versus... Mar oh, I can't replenish my marines anyway. Okay, let's see I can't hmm so do I try and make peace with with Britain by giving them Malta do I just give up my capital because then immediately my trade would go to Cartagena Interesting one. Oh, they broke the, the school. They rebelled against the school. This is going to be very tight. No one wants to... Honest Catholic party senor has not had our brains. Well, I'm going to hit enter because I've spent all the money I could spend. And we know what's probably going to happen with this Spanish guy. Oh. 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 Right here, guys. I'm going to end the part here because this could kill all of our ambitions um, in, in the Iberian Peninsula. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for probably a horrible battle against the French. Cheers, everyone.